Right, so StarCraft 2 went free to play today. And that also means that Mira Han and Matt Horner has become available as a co-op commander. This is a very interesting choice indeed. Especially as Horner is actually one of my favorite characters in StarCraft. Uh, he was one of my favorites in the Queen of Blades novel. And he was later brought in to play uh, into StarCraft 2 as James Raynor's second in command. And I've always liked that. The fact that they just imported the guy from, from uh, the book. And I have to say, if I ever do a StarCraft 2 cosplay, Matthew Horner is probably the one I'm going to do. Now, this doesn't mean I approve of the Mirahan and Horner relationship. I don't think it's an actual relationship. It's more along the lines of Mirahan using it to get under Horner's skin. <clears throat> they might be technically married, but the games haven't have never actually expanded upon it, so it's kind of difficult to tell. But at any rate, giving them a joint co-op commander is... I'm not entirely certain if that's a best, the best idea. I would much rather have a overlay for Raynor where you can have Horn, Horner take command of Raynor's build and forces instead. Uh, this is because I feel that Horner, while he contributes to the build in quite a good way, uh, he doesn't feel like he's that big a part of it. Uh, you're gonna see what Where I mean the soon. I was told there would be minerals. You're gonna see what I mean here, but basically it's. Um... Glad you're here. Need a little help fulfilling a contract. Aim on shipping some nasty tech on board these trains. My job is to torch them, but my guys are late to the party. Now, I'm thinking you'd like to see those trains go up in smoke too. Yeah. Basically, first of all, uh, Mira Over and Warner have a basic Terran base. Ready. And it's not too different. You have this spaceport as well. This is where Horner's units are created. His Raven is an incredibly powerful support unit. His battle well, cruiser is well very good. And the Viking and Wraith are pretty much indispensable. Because if there's something job, that Mira lacks, it is anti-air firepower. Mira is absolutely dreadful yes, when it comes to anti-air. So, Horner's units, aside from the moving factories, are your only option. What do you like in minerals? You make and Mira's units are fairly good, actually. Most of them are lower tier, but... They can move, and this means you can basically bring full suit units on the move. Now, you can only have five of them, and you should always have five of them. Because they can shoot, and they can actually shoot fairly well. They have. If you imagine a mix between a Tempest, a battle cruiser, and a carrier, and a barracks, then you got the Assault Galleon. Because it. It has all these features. It has a long range attack, it can launch fighter drones, and it can produce units. They're not too ter they're not terribly expensive either. Uh, in fact they're, they're they they come pretty cheaply. Um, but they are a bitch to replace. The building time is about as the same as a barracks or a factory. And we, we actually need a fusion core before we can make these guys into, into carriers. So, we're gonna Mind make sure to create a barracks and an armory. 
sorry, an ar just an armory and then a fusion core. Uh, Mira and Corner can also deploy these mines. These are sweet mines because they can be placed at regular intervals. They need some time to charge up, but when they do, they are absolutely Inner devastating. So we're gonna send you to create another assault galleon, and I'm gonna send you to create an engineering mate. Unlike most other units uh, or commanders, you don't need to create two upgrade options. Finally. Leave the business to me. Hostile forces sighted. Be on alert. Yeah, this is not going to be a big problem, really. I have a minefield and I have my assault galleons, so this is going to be just peachy. The first attack is not very large either. Amuse me. Some foolish Terrans have decided to mess with us. As you can see. I'll try. Are you always this convincing? So, now that we have the three other assault galleons on the way, we can use them to start clearing this shit out. Not enough minerals. Put the illegal upgrades to you. First train's departing. We're also gonna create some of our escapes. Reapers, and we are going He's to start fast, on... But not faster than us. As you can see, they'll just jump out of the Assault Galleons, and now we have the upgrades going, and we're gonna see how much that Fusion Core is gonna cost us. 150. Yes, sir. Is that so? We're gonna place down a minefield and get ready for the for the engagement. The Grim Reaper has arrived. The Grim Reaper has arrived. And the mag oh crap. A Reaper versus Reaper fight, but my mines are ready and they're gonna sweep and they're gonna clear. As you can see, I'm also getting resources back. Whenever I try to Oh uh, god, they're coming in on the other side. Destroyed. That is however not oh a wow. shameful and cowardly day. Must I compensate for your weakness? Seriously, Alarak, are you asking if you must compensate for my weakness when it's your base that's getting crashed? Just admit it, my Reapers are superior. Is that so? Ah, sweet. We can That's add, to the we don't have enough we'll gas to call in the cruiser. Too bad. Huh? You sweet dogger. Gas is really useful, so why don't you have any? Hmm, Shut up, you I total like biscuit! Ah, oh, never mind. We need to get are my use. Yeah, my mind handled that. You've never seen weapons like Big job. Upgrade's done. Yeah, yeah. Ascending the uh, CV to it. establish the second air base. Let's see here. Yeah, drone hangar costs Heads up. money. Lots of money. Yeah, whatever. SCV ready. Yep. I like the sound of that. Add on is done. Doesn't that look fancy? Yeah, Need we need to get moving. To me. Additional supply depots. And we need more supply depots. Because job. why not? If we gotta transform these into carriers, we're gonna need. Perhaps you should reconsider your building placement. No, I'm not gonna reconsider my building placement, you absolute yes, tosser. You Let's see here, we actually have the drone. Like yeah, and once we actually have the, the drones, uh, we don't need to do that very much You're with them. Broke, mate. Get some more so we're just gonna produce some more Reapers, and then we're gonna see how these things 
act alongside the ropes. Yeah, like I said, a mix of the Tempest and mix of the Tempest and uh, the carrier with a mix in of the factory, I suppose. The We're gonna place down a minefield here. And we're gonna blow up that train. We have Reapers coming in and helping us out. Ah, uh, crap. Incoming. I'll just Enemies handle that are attack. For us. Don't let them catch you off guard. We need more gas. More gas. More gas. There we go. Upgrade's done. That should be all of them. The assault galleons are ridiculously strong here, but we're not facing air units yet, and that is part of why they are strong. Once they're facing a dedicated anti-air threat, they can... You can't build there. No, I actually can't. I just realized that. Sorry. Knock that train over and raise some hell. Let's see. Yeah, we need to send over at least two of our SCVs in order not to overmine it. Add-on is done. Ready. Add-on complete. I like the fact that the Reapers here still keep their classic anti-building grenades. Also, the Hellions are fast scouts who just happen to have grenade launchers here instead of everything else. If I was going to make a change, it was that. I feel like Mira is one of the characters who really should make use of the planetary fortress. Construct a platform so the strike fighters can visit train. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about the strike fighters. We're just gonna clear this out. And yeah, I hope those mines can't do friendly fire because then you know we are in a big fucking load of trouble. And now we have the Raven that helps supply targeting data and. We enemy targets. We have one Assault Galleon who is currently a bit low on HP, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem really. However, we do have the train on the bottom track that I plump forgot about. Has been destroyed. Ugh, pathetic. butchery! Yes, Carnage, Butchery, and fuck. Our enemies are picking up the pace. Expect them soon. They're building missile turrets. Trying to kill your SCVs. Ah, crap! I need. I don't have a choice. I need to go and reinforce. You pledge your power to me. Your allies are having all the fun. Yeah, he's gonna get the train. So. And uh, it's the fight you've all been waiting. Your allies' base is under attack. Get over there. Yeah, I'm on it. Fortunately, the assault galleons are fairly strong, and so is the East defense. But we're gonna Trains need to defend this. Both stations. Gotta move fast. Hit them both. Massacre, bloodbath, carnage, butchery. Yeah, that's an accurate summary. Total biscuit. Let's see, can I call in a battle yet? No, I do Are not have enough. This Let's produce more Reapers. We have lots of minerals, so Reapers, Reapers, Reapers. What's going on? Your supply blocked. Might as well GG now. You just upgraded your units. Maybe keep doing that. Attack! Full attack! Also, the Reapers can be upgraded with a tiny little nice thing that actually is quite decent. And uh, the thing it does is that it helps push enemy ground units back. 
Yes, I forgot to build the depots again. Do you have it? You can bring it up. From the intel I've been provided, I'd say half their stock is in flames. Our units have taken heavy damage. You forgot to build the depots again, didn't you? Ah, that smug little Brit. Let's Our build all the fucking depots. Now. Your ally is being attacked. I say again, we are building all the depots. Your army is no getting time for romance, husband. Enemies are on your way. Our allies look like they could use a map. Yeah, our allies have a little problem with the enemy battle cruisers. I like the sound of that. Warning. Main objective escaping. What are we waiting for? He got the objective, objective and we can handle the battle cruisers. Oh, was the enemy expecting mercy? Oh crap. All the Reapers must go for the enemy attack wave. Liberators, fuck. At least my units can handle the, the ground units and clear them out for Normally, the air offensive. Normally, I'd be a train like this, but with these guys, it's probably safer to light it up. I sound of that. Yeah, we do not have enough SCVs going on here. Let's see here. Yeah, we should have enough to call in a, a battle cruiser for us. I called in the fleet. Engage, engage. The Reapers are really sweet. They're fast, they can hit it just about anything. And they're pretty good in a, in a scrap, so... Let's see here, I forgot to make a quickie out of that one, so we're gonna build another one. Pull down another one of the orders, pal. What do you lack in minerals? You make a for it, y'all. We'll need to try and take out the enemy battle ASAP. Before they take out too many of our assault galleons and Your allies are having all the fun over there. Our allies are getting into trouble. Objective has been destroyed. Yeah, main objective destroyed. One step Sweet. closer to the end of this fight. Ah, I'm gonna send in a repair team. No time for romance, husband. Enemies are on the way. We're gonna need to repair our shit. Because right now we have invested so much into them that not repairing them is basically akin to throwing our money away. Ah, you me. So group free repair you team will focus on this shit. Ready. And I'm gonna place a minefield there. Your army has encountered the enemy. Our allies look like they could use a hand. Actually, our allies doesn't look like they can use a hand. Our allies look like Alarakis will die, but I'm actually not against Alarak dying, so here we go. Okay, our battle cruisers are up to strength. We can call in that third one, so let's do that. So this is basically a fight where Mira and Horner are both using capital ships. Uh, let's see here. We cannot call down another raven. It's kind of sad, really. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's deploy a minefield. I don't think that minefield may be done in time, so it it, it is entirely possible we may need to defend it before attack them. Trains on the third rail are fast as hell. Gotta take them out quick. Your allies are having all the fun. I am as strong as any army. Yeah, looks like we got. Oh god, we got more hybrid coming in. 
Our assault galleons are nice. Our, our bouncers are in. Main objective destroyed. We're gonna need more There's reapers for this. Cannot do, husband. The battle cruisers and everything else is basically hunting, uh, hunting down. Yeah. Enemies are heading for us. Don't let them catch you off guard. A main objective has been destroyed. Sweep and clear. Down they go. Here comes the number attack wave. Enemy forces. Crap, Yamato cannons. I'll try anything. Almost there. The Grim Reaper has They can't have much cargo left. Keep it up. We got more tangos incoming. Better build more Reapers. Let's see, what ca uh, we don't have any upgrades for our fusion core yet. That's a bummer. Let's call in some more Vikings for that sweet, sweet air support. Hmm. Are you always this convincing? We're gonna deploy a minefield and stand by to engage that train. We'll see where Alarak's army hides out the battle. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Fire for full effect. An enemy attack moves towards our base. Oh, most unwise. Was Alarak promoted by Shakespeare? We lost two of our cruisers. But we got the last train. Target destroyed. Ha! That was charming. Haha, <laughs> that's a done deal. Been a pleasure working with you. I haven't actually purchased Mira and Horner. Uh, instead, I am taking advantage of the up to level 5 uh, free thing they have since the entire game went free to play, so. Apparently, you can make Reapers fly, but... <sighs> Here's the thing. While I like Horner as a character, I have to say that these, this is not what I'm looking for in a co-op commander. I don't think that the playstyle is arguably different from the main Terran experience. I mean, if we look at the one I play the most, which is Nova, uh, the experience is different because every unit is so fucking expensive that losses become a incredibly serious. If you look at Swan, most of his units are based around the concept of the Terran mech. And if you look at Stukov, well, why don't we just play Stukov? I know I'm playing on hard now, I should really be playing on brutal, because hard on level 10 is going to be very, very easy. But let's do that anyway, and we're gonna actually team up with a Han and Horner player, and I can live with that. Uh, so, this time, we are gonna be the Horde. Quite literally, because Stukov is a zombie commander. He is an expert at pretty much sending forth the undead, or in this case, the infested. Where are the minerals? I was told there would be minerals. So you'll have to Excuse my peanuts. 
During the height of the Purifier program, many personalities were stored here for AI conversion. One of them turned out to be more than we could handle. This Tal Dareem, once a prisoner, has escaped and corrupted our systems to create his own forces. You must help me restore our control. Okay, so infestation level one that means that we get a number of free units. Uh, our goal here is to increase the number of infestation levels. As you can see, uh, Stukov's commander is a mix of Terran and Zerg. He have Terran buildings since most of his units are infested Terrans. Considering the the events of uh, Legacy of the Void, it's a bit weird to see Stukov infesting Terrans. But what this what this commander pretty much hints at is that once the Zerg have the genetic structure of the infested Terrans, they can just create more. They don't actually need Terrans to do it anymore. So that is at least a better fault than the alternative. The alternative being that um, Stukov is actively taking Terrans in order to use them as his cannon fodder. Because when it comes to Stukov as a commander, he has precious few in what you would call uh, line units. What you do with Stukov is basically you create a zombie army of infested Terrans and then you upgrade them to become even more terrifying. And you get a number of free units as well from the colonist compound. And these are the inf infested civilians, and these need to be upgraded, basically, in order to be anywhere close to these. The first location is secure. Unfortunately, the Tal Dareem was quite thorough. I'll need to visit the other security terminals to purge them. So we have three barracks here. We are most likely gonna want more, and then we are gonna Stay make vigilant. bunkers. The, the infested position. bunkers are also pretty nice flash, because they also they give free fierce. units. If there's anything, I believe the enemy wishes to test our defenses. If there's anything you can learn from Stukov, it's basically that he just pretty much throws units at units at the enemy and you use the Psy emitter to enemies. I must proceed to the next security terminal soon make your preparations Doesn't that look fancy? so we are almost there and we're gonna upgrade Proceeding. that one and then we I had not build an engineering bay did I know I did not Anyhow, these things take one supply, so what we have to do is we need to get more supplies, obviously. An apocalypse is ready for spawning. What is nice about Stukov is that you can pretty much spawn an entire army within seconds. Beginning security data restoration. Considerable wait time ahead. Our allies look like they could use a hat. Mutation complete. As you can see, we can also create a lot, quite a lot of them. We can create 70 units in just one go here. Get some more minerals. And we have enemies coming in, meaning we should really start Not creating. Spawn more. I am under attack. Care to assist? Yes, yes, we're on our way. Alexander is prepared for launch.
Where are the minerals? I was told there would be As you can see, uh, Stukov's creep spread is also quite impressive. Restoration efforts have reached the halfway point. But all of Stukov's units are limited. Limited in that they die. There are more precious Quickly few now. of Stukov's the units. The facility suppression towers used to protect who... us, but now this one will bring my efforts to a halt if you do not stop it. Trouble again. Where are the your allies? The facilities were halted by tower strikes. Yeah, we can't send our full potential of marines towards the enemy right now. And the primary reason is that we have expanded and that put a dent in our mineral resources. Also, the suppression towers are hell on Stukov's forces. In case you didn't notice. So we're gonna send more minerals quickly now. We're gonna send this SCV to create an infested bunker. Look like they could use a hat. System integrity verified. We are back online at this location. So we're gonna send four of our zombies. And uh, there is a debate going on regarding if you should sh sh move your barracks in closer to the front line and I would actually say yes on that score but we can't move them just yet since we need to complete the infested tech lab work first but once that is done I fully intend to move these four down your to allies are having all the my expansion mutation complete your Zerga now extra terrifying. Yeah, and unlike unlike pretty much everything else, these things work. So the, You're flat broke, man. they don't Get fly, they walk. They're grotesque little barrack zombies who just walk to their location. Moving forward. Build that fleshy mass of terror somewhere else. The fleshy mass of terror is already built. Up the base. Expect them soon. Okay, so we have an enemy attack incoming here. Though the Taldarim has been relentless, he has not yet gained access to this data core. If you have time, please rescue the personalities within it. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. Let's see if there's any... Yeah, we can actually get that. We can infest that. We cannot infest that. But now we can. Your allies are having Don't just the stand there. Shoot back! Your forces are taking damage. Restoring original security protocol. Try to be patient. Our allies Your forces are getting taking damage. Again. These are just a minority of what Stukov can position. do, so we really ought to get our our production capacity back up. So yeah, we're good. Our allies look like they could use a hat. Let's complete the secondary objective. Enemy suppression tower activated. Ah, crap. He's warping in more units. Your I am unable to progress due to the tower's interruption. What a relief. Another personality saved. We need to save the A data core is in danger. Action advised. Ah, the Alexander. Mutation complete. I am glad you're out, The Alexander is also pretty nice. She just, she just spawns a lot of zombies and attacking stuff. But it hasn't been easy. I recommend taking out that suppression tower quickly. Tower destroyed. Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. 
The Taldarim is brutal, but not clever. He has not discovered this data core yet, but we only have a little time remaining. Yeah, we're on it. Suppression tower down. Only 25% of the corruption remains. Thanks to your diligence, the personalities of these warriors are safe. Let's get some more overlords and move these Your forces closer are to damage. the front line. Our allies look like they could use a hand. Data secure. This security terminal is clear of corruption. Who called in the fleet? Your we need to upgrade this compound so we get more infestation levels. Those three civilians are one of our best resources and really act like it, really. Target destroyed. Our allies are getting into trouble again. Let's bomb the swarm. The zombie swarm. Of horrible doom. Mine more minerals. Okay, so let's just tag the security system. We need an infested factory in order to. Your allies are having all yeah, the fun. Your forces are taking it. damage. Regard if my forces can take all the damage they want, it doesn't actually matter. They're not gonna last long anyway, but the time they do is they're frighteningly effective. So let's flank our ally and help out. Our allies look like they could use a hand. Yeah, I know, and we just gave them the hand. It's the fight you've all been waiting for. Your allies are having all the fun over there. Try building that monstrosity elsewhere. Oh, look, something's coming to murder us again. You know it. And something else, something wicked this way that comes. Has that it to even more like of your forces. Initiating security system this is kind of interesting. Uh, Mirahan's ability allows us to gather resources from our units, and Stukov's units are pretty much free. Ah, crap. We got an attack wave incoming, but this guy has been diligent with his mind. So I'm not really worried me. about him. Can you prove him wrong? Detecting another suppression tower. Suppression tower? We like are on it. You're engaging the opponent. Our allies are temporarily disabled my systems. Yeah, you can this infest your own buildings as well no as the defense me measure. It's the fight you've all been waiting for. Enemy hybrid. The enemy forces have a lot of firepower behind them, but I have fewer numbers. Oh, I'm under Care to assist? I have numbers and proximity. I don't need much more than that, really. Pressure tower has been destroyed. Good work. Here we go. Alexander is ready Your army to has encountered the enemy. Our allies are getting into trouble again. Our gets has been destroyed. System takeover is halfway complete. And yes, I am doing my best. I recommend taking out that suppression tower quickly. Our allies look uh, like of course you want us to take out that suppression tower. 
Yes, yes, we're on it. Carnage butchery! Oh, I like they're having all the fun over there. Let's see if we can't upgrade more. There we go. More upgrades, more upgrades. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with these into things. Army has encountered the enemy. I have overwritten three quarters of the Taldarine's alterations. Hold fast. Enemy suppression tower activated. The tower has ceased its fire. Crap. At least something is going right. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. One of the nice meta things you can have in the co-op is you can play as zombie commander Sukov against another zombie army. It's actually one of the more fun experiences when your zombie army turns out to be larger than, you know, the zombies of the, that you're supposed to kill. It doesn't help that you have pretty much have the same kind of units too. I'm gonna see about this if yeah, this is a purifier data core. We're most likely going to be asked to hand to save it at some point. Now, the Mirahan, uh, Mira, uh, Mirahan players pretty much to the final terminal. I will depart soon. is playing this perfectly. What she's supposed to do right now is just wait for me to... Try building that monstrosity elsewhere. Just wait for me to... You're engaging the opponent. Thin the enemy out with my numbers. Because I... It's not even that I'm just supposed to be able to take the losses. The data core here. Try to reach them before the enemy does. It's whoa, also whoa, the fact that I am supposed here. to handle them. Your allies are having all the fun over there. Our allies look like they could use a hand. Oh crap. This is not good. This personality will never be lost now. You're engaging the opponent. Let's Station kill them all. Complete. Kill them all with zombie strength. The the oh god, there's a wind of mine there. Accessing security terminal and beginning data reset. There's going to be something up there that we need to handle. I can bet you anything on that. Also, there's a wind of mine here, and that's not good for me. The Taldarim still thinks he can destroy me. Can you prove him wrong? Let's move in our overlord. Capital ship support on its way. I am under attack. Care to assist? Yeah, we're on it. Your army has encountered the enemy. Let me get. Ah, uh, never mind. The overlord is. The overlord is slow. Our allies look like they could use a hat. Yeah, there's, there's, there's still a. I recommend taking out that suppression tower quickly. Yeah, we're on it. The only problem is I have a fucking widow mine here. A widow mine that needs to die. System takeover is halfway complete, and yes, I am doing my best. Systems work halted by tower strikes. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. I am under attack. Care to assist? Oh, uh, we might want to take out that. Excellent. Person. We have saved the purifier personalities from this data core. This is just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. Ah, uh, there's the mine. Actually, there, there's more than now one mine here. Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. And we need, still need to upgrade that, that shit. Numerous suppression towers activating. Just what we needed. 
crap. I'm under attack. Care to assist? Yeah, we're assisting. Only 25% of the corruption remains. Tower attacks have temporarily disabled my systems. The tower has ceased to fire. At least something is going right. Come on. You can finish this. Yep. Good work. I will have to ask for more of it. Yeah, we'll just have to suffer the wit of mine attack. Analyzing systems. No trace of the Taldarim personality remains. It appears he is truly dead at last. Fine work, commanders. So we had success with the zombies on the new map. Nice. I have to say, I really like this flash screen. Looks really nice. Also, we got promoted and earned the Infested Starport upgrade cash. Nice. Thanks for tuning in, and that's about it for now. Do check out StarCraft 2 if you can. It's free to play now, meaning you can just grab the campaign and play the Wings of Liberty campaign. And that one is pretty good. So do try it out. That's about all I ha can say about it. Thanks for tuning in and catch you guys next time.